in terms of Burrow, Chris, have you can you compare uh, uh, him to anybody else that you've w- witnessed called games or covered in any way, shape, or form from back in the day with with College Game Day, who went from you know s- serviceable or that which is obviously negatively connoted or 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 good to all time haven't seen this type of before type of performance in one year, Chris. Is there any comparison from what we've seen out of Burrow? No, I, I don't. I don't think to go from. I mean, he really sort of came alive at the end of last year, uh, but no one expected this kind of a season. I think the mental component was already, always there. He's always a really bright dude. And that's what struck LSU in the first interview they had with him when he was going to transfer from Ohio State. Is this guy might be the smartest football mind in the room. And it was including the LSU coaches. And, and I, I think they were blown away by that part of it. Um, he, he prepares like a pro already. He takes one class, I think. He's already graduated. So he, he spends all his time in a football complex kind of walking around. And when he comes into his meetings – at the beginning of the week, he's got game plan ideas already from watching tape on his own. That's just not college stuff, Rich. That, mm-hmm. That's that's NFL veteran stuff, and maybe a lot of guys who've been in the league for a lot of years can't do that. So it begins with that, and then you know Joe Brady, the you know Saints fans will know what he did at that level. I think it's a perfect marriage of play caller, scheme, quarterback, and let's not forget he's surrounded by a bunch of playmakers in an offensive line that basically blocks with a five-man protection a lot, and they can do that because he gets the ball out so fast. His release is quick. I'll give you a scouting report that, that is interesting. I watched some field level for the first time um, in Atlanta against uh, Georgia. Mm-hmm. And I was just you know on the fan watching the game. And it's a unique perspective because you can see things differently than you can from the press box. And certainly it's a lot different than watching on TV. And, but what struck me is how athletic he is. He, he's almost balletic in the pocket and in, in escaping. He's sudden. He can, he can crease defenses faster than you think straight ahead speed. The throwing of the ball, he's not the most beautiful passer. And he actually thought he threw the ball poorly. He did. He's a pretty high grader of himself. It doesn't spin like Tua. It doesn't come out of his hand tight like a lot of guys who throw it on Sunday. He'll throw a wobbly pass now and then. It's, it's incredibly accurate. Um, his, his sense of timing, his decision-making is stellar. And he's capable of throwing a, a lot of beautiful passes. It just doesn't come out of his hand flawlessly every time like we see with some of these guys. But but that doesn't matter because he's, he's so good in so many areas. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on TV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.